team and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i am going to explain you a roadmap that i have prepared in past a week okay and this roadmap is basically will guide you on what topic you should study if you want to start learn like devops obviously like anyone can learn learn devops but better option is to follow a specific roadmap so i have preferred prepared the one which i follow in my courses as well as the one that i have followed for my own learning so yeah i will share you uh, share you that in detail as well as i have created a github account also on that in github account i'll be putting everything in detail so you can go through that as well okay so team please subscribe to the channel if you are new on the channel it helps a lot to the channel to create uh, more and more hands on content for you so with that being said let's get started so team this is a diagram that i have prepared and let me just walk you through uh, over everything so you understand everything and then you can start learning okay so this is he or she the uh, person who is interested in learning devops first thing that you should get started with is learning a programming language i know you might think that this might be optional but in my opinion you should go either for python or go okay and the best option would be python because with python it's basically like one bird uh, sorry one stone two birds because if you learn python you will be having knowledge on python as well plus you can use python for automation as well as uh, scripting language okay which will save a lot of time so if you want to learn i have actually created a playlist recently started around 10 videos i have made but yeah if you want to learn you can get uh, started with that my opinion best option is python to learn a programming language and in devops also having basic knowledge of at least one programming language it's very good option other uh, optional uh, like are there which is either you can learn node.js javascript or java or go but in my opinion python is the best okay coming to next option team which is os uh, operating systems two os are available uh, which is like most popularly used one is windows and one is linux inside linux we have multiple flavors like ubuntu uh, rail then we have ec2 if uh, in my opinion if you learn uh, ubuntu then it will be much easier for other flavors to learn they are already very similar only key differences are there which you can understand very easily okay so my suggestion for linux learn ubuntu and in linux there are so many things you need to learn but basic things what you need to learn i will just put in the github next we have terminals so in terminal basically when you have learned programming language and os next part comes is to learn terminals okay inside terminal we have two things editors and scripting for scripting already two options available python and shell but if you are already learning python then scripting also you can do using python and that's why i was saying python is the better option okay then we have editors which you already know if you are working with linux we have three editors vi vim and nano for me i usually go with vi or vim uh, but you can choose uh, any one of these three okay they are very actually they are just like in one or two hours you can learn completely how it works and everything right so after terminals we have this option vcs and vcs hosting vcs is version control system for that the widely used one is git and my suggestion definitely go for git Do, don't go for svn or others it's better git just git okay then we have vcs hosting is the websites like github gitlab uh, who provide you the storage for storing your source code my opinion definitely go with github and gitlab they are mostly ui based but at this point they have started providing their own ci cd uh, tools but still from vcs hosting point of view github gitlab more than enough okay team coming to next we have network basics so when it i talk about net network basics so it's the better option is that you learn the basics first like ipv4 ipv6 what is the difference how many bits subnets routes osi model and other basic concepts like how to do subnetting those kind of things okay and if you you will get very good knowledge if you learn some like case studies about networking that will help you a lot my suggestion definitely go with that case studies on networking okay coming to next we have build tools so there are actually so many build tools for for so many different programming languages for me i have learned like the primary skills which i have is uh, pip for python maven for java and pm for node.js okay but an optional one the basics of uh, like a dot c sharp also i know but in my opinion if you are learning from the beginning then just learn these three uh, uh, build tools which will be very uh, helpful for you okay so once you have understood like build tool how they are working and how you can build applications uh, through source code and using this build tools 
Next option would be to learn CI/CD tool. In my opinion, there are four of the most widely used CI/CD tool, which is Jenkins, GitHub Actions, GitLab CI/CD, and Azure DevOps CI/CD from cloud point of view. Okay. So, out of these four, actually, what the way that I learned is I learned three tools as my primary skill, one tool as a secondary skill. So, in primary skill, I have learned Jenkins, GitHub Actions, and Azure DevOps CI/CD for cloud part. Okay, because Azure is best for DevOps. But as a secondary, also I have learned GitLab CI/CD because this is one of my like uh, not the primary skill, but as a secondary skill, I have learned the basics of it, how to write pipelines and all. Okay, but in my option, these are the things that you should go for. And even if you don't want to learn multiples, you can just go with Jenkins and Azure DevOps. That is also fine. Then we have security tools. Now, why do we learn security tools? That is the question. So, team, at this point, you already know like. DevOps is getting very much crowd because people are coming from all uh, different domains and they want to switch. So since there is too much of crowd and everyone is learning DevOps, so obviously you want to stand out, right? So if you want to stand out from other candidates, the best option: learn security tools in addition to other DevOps CI/CD part. Okay, in security tools we have so many options: uh, Sonar Cube, OS Dependency Check, OS Zap, Trivi, and Anchor. Okay. So Trivi and Anchor, Anchor I have kept in optional. The reason because whatever Anchor can do, Trivi can also do. Plus more task. Okay. So uh, if it comes to learn between Trivi and Anchor, best option go with Trivi. No issues. But these four you should know. For me, these are the ones that I have learned, and these are the ones that I would suggest to learn from security tools point of view. Then we have Nexus. Uh, sorry. Then we have Artifact Repository Manager. So when you build your application using build tools like Maven uh, for Java, so you generate artifacts in the form of jar or var file. Okay, and it is possible if you are like making uh, multiple changes, it will generate different jar files every time, right? So in companies, what happen? They like to do release management, different versions of application they want to release. So for that, they keep the uh, generated artifacts in a separate repository, which is known as Artifact Repository Manager. There are three kind, uh, three three kinds of that. available there are more than 3 also but these are the ones that i have good experience on uh, first one is uh, nexus 3 which is my primary skill as artifact repository manager and then we have azure artifacts for cloud okay there is third one which is jfrog artifactory but again as compared to nexus jfrog artifactory has very less features so if you are starting i would suggest go for nexus 3 that is the best option coming down so we have other uh, next tool which is container containerization tool which is docker docker is the one that we are going to use and in my uh, in my opinion like it's like inside docker what you need to learn is how to write a docker file how to generate image from docker file how to generate container from docker images docker network docker volumes and docker compose these many things if you know inside docker it is more than enough coming to next part which is container orchestration tool so as of now like in my knowledge i know like four of the container orchestration tool kubernetes openshift aks and aws but in my opinion you should not go for openshift because it's not being used almost everywhere openshift is used uh, previously was used uh, being used in many companies but uh, the thing is ki if you are getting azure kubernetes service and elastic kubernetes service and cloud platform then nobody wants to go with openshift because they have like uh, better support i guess as well as like since everyone is migrating their projects to cloud so obviously they are going to prefer the cloud services okay so in my opinion uh, three services you should know from uh, uh, container orchestration to kubernetes aks and eks uh, eks okay now you might be thinking why we need to learn three it's very hectic no the reality is that if you learn kubernetes just kubernetes it will be more than enough if you learn kubernetes then these two becomes very much easy and yeah in that way it's like the one stone three birds it's very easy but yeah three tool three kind of tools you can learn so that you can mention these in your resume coming to next which is iac tools so there are many others also other than terraform ansible like puppet chef but when it comes to have the best ones you should go with terraform and ansible because they are the best one in this field uh, for like uh, iac field okay coming to next which is cloud platform now this is the question for from everyone which cloud platform we should learn so in my opinion team uh, if you want to work for like infra side 
when i say infra side it's like creating secured infrastructure creating networking and all aws is best for that okay and aws is preferred when it comes to like man, uh, creating uh, infrastructure that is the best uh, main option with for which aws is considered best but when it comes to devops part like you want to learn devops and you want to build and deploy applications best option is azure and that's what i have done so these are the services that i learned in aws ec2 eks ecr s3 vpc and in azure devops i learned azure devops as and azure functions aks ecr storage and app service these are my primary skills from cloud point of view and in my opinion if you are getting started my suggestion is like have little bit experience of both because you don't know like where they will charge you for uh, where they, they they might ask you to come and uh, start working on this tool so in that case if you have little bit of knowledge on both the uh, cloud services you can easily transition to anywhere it it's needed okay last tool uh, section last section which i want to explain is monitoring so inside monitoring uh, actually i have learned uh, three tools grafana prometheus and cloud monitoring tools first two uh, first two are the like primary ones and cloud monitoring tool is the secondary one so in case of grafana and prometheus i have experience with other other data uh, data sources also other than uh, prometheus like victoria matrix and few more influx db and more so yeah uh, like these things i have experience with um, but for you if you are getting started my suggestion learn grafana and prometheus in deep and learn cloud monitoring tools for uh, the basics of that and it's much easier actually cloud monitoring tools they are much much easier to learn so you can learn and yeah after that you should be keep learning because uh, devops is never ending topic and yeah so team this is this diagram i'll just share with you as well and you can follow this road map to get started uh, by learning devops okay also team i have created one github uh, repository for it which will be a little more detail in some time okay and yeah one more thing i will tell you team uh, there are some some additional concepts also which you sh which you should learn two things which in my opinion that you should know certifications and real time troubleshooting they are the most important okay so in certifications basically if you are getting started my suggestion if you are aws oriented go with AWS Cloud Practitioner that is the fundamental of that and if you are is Azure oriented then go for EZ900 which is the fundamental of Azure okay and once you become experienced then you should learn then you should like have certification of uh, CKA uh, Kubernetes Certified Administration and the target the certificate for these two cloud platforms should be uh, AWS Certified DevOps Engineer and azure devops engineer expert this should be the target certification that you should go for yes team so that's all for today and i hope this video was useful and uh, please do not worry i'll share you this diagram as well so you can watch it and you can follow this diagram as well so thanks for watching team and have a nice day